Show. Hi, I'm Gabby Company, and this is The Dreaming Show. In today's show, my guest is the awesome Alexandra Kiroi. Our topic today is how to balance a sport and life. Hello, Alexandra. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very good. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Alexandra is a teenager, 14 years old, elite junior international rhythmic gymnast, six times a state champion, national champion, and winner of number of international competitions. <laughs> oh my God. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being with us. Could you tell us, please, because you are an example for teenagers, could you tell us how do you manage, how do you balance your sport with your normal life, homework, family environment, social life? Well, um, uh, rhythmic gymnastics, when you start young, it teaches you lots of determination, like lots of discipline, and one of them is time management. So for school, it teaches me a lot, like I'm a lot more organised than some of the students as I have time management. Some of them don't understand what time management is. I wake up in the morning, have to do some homework. After training, do some homework, but not all of it. Recess and lunchtime, I always have to do homework to be on top of class and not to be behind everyone else. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You are right. Time management is a very important skill. What do you advise to the teenagers that probably they are watching us? Uh, well, I advise to you um, to always make sure you keep on task. Like, time management, it's not for everyone. Um, like, just because I do sport doesn't mean I have time management. Like, everyone can have time management, even someone who doesn't do sport. Like, just time management, it doesn't, it's not just like a, you don't work for it, it just comes naturally. Like, you, you know, you just have to make sure you, do what you need to do and keep on task. You are right, keep on task, because everybody have 24-7. Yeah. Every day, yeah. everyone. Yeah. So it's how you choose the task, yeah. priorities. Mm -hmm. Priorities too. Thank you, thank you very much. Tell us please, how many days, how many hours do you train? Well, I train um, 26 to 30 hours per week. So Monday, four hours, Tuesday, four hours, Wednesday, two in the morning, sometimes four in the afternoon. Uh, Thursday, two hours in the morning, four hours in the afternoon. Friday, four hours, Saturday, four to five hours. And luckily, Sunday's my day off. <laughs> oh my God. I yeah. understand when you say time management. <laughs> you have to, yeah. you have to. So what do you eat? What do you have for breakfast, lunch and dinner? Starting with the breakfast. Breakfast, um, as a rhythmic gymnast, we are, you know, quite skinny. We, that's what we should look like. You are very fit, <laughs> very <Thank> beautiful, <laughs> well done. Um, so for breakfast, it's either porridge, some maybe some omelette, like eggs, um, or this Russian type of style of cheese. You mix it with, like, some jam or something. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. What about lunch? Lunch, I have at school, and it'd be like leftover dinner sometimes. So sometimes a little salad would do or um, some grain meal, like some couscous or something with a piece of meat, like a little piece of meat, fish or, yeah. It looks like uh, dinner, no lunch, it's good. <laughs> it's good. What about your dinner then? Um, dinner is um, salads, diff like variety, like um, grain foods, meat, um, it's not like I have a lot, but I have a little bit of each quality. one of them. Qu quality yeah, of food. Yeah, it's also quality food, but I don't have a lot of one thing. I have a little bit of variety. Yeah, you understand. Well yeah. done, well done. So tell us, please, how your parents support you in your sport environment? Well, my parents do a lot for me, actually. Um, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be winning competitions. Um, they take me to training, they like even like all the financial things for the sport, they do everything. Like I wouldn't be able to do anything if it wasn't for them. I wouldn't be able to manage by myself. Like who is going to drive me to training? Like that's quite an important factor too. And you know, you have to show gratitude back to them because they do a lot for us. Gratitude is an important law of the universe. Yeah. 
well done, well done. There are many kids out there suffering lack of communication with their parents. I'm not talking just about the sport. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about different areas, different yeah. fields. How do you think a kid, because it's our opinion, mm -hmm. everybody has different opinions. What do you think a kid must be behaving with the parents? Well, a kid should definitely be very open. You can't just lock yourself and hide from your parents. Um, your parents have faced, they have been a child. They know what it's like to be a child. They, they understand what you're going through, but sometimes you just have to talk to them, ask them what they think about things. Like with my parents, sometimes it's a bit relating to sport, but for dinner, we would sit and a rule is we'd always have to talk. Um, they asked me about how was school, how was training, and I'd have to say things and I try to keep quite open like if I had like a fight with someone or I try to tell them these things so they know what's going on in my life. Like they are my parents, they should know what's everything, like what I'm doing you know, during the day. So What I can realise is a special moment that you have with your family, mm. no TV. Yeah, no TV. <laughs> It's good, you know, because what I can see many, t many times, many parents, according to my experience working with families, they say, we don't have communication. And I ask, okay, tell me more. Mm. What are you talking to your parents or uh, to your kids? Well, very roughly in the morning or very roughly when I came back from work. So you have dinner with them. Mm. No, we are busy. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, we are talking in front of the TV at the same time we are eating. Yeah. How come? How come? So let me congratulate you once again to you and your family because you are doing a lovely mm. environment. Yeah. So communication is vital. It is, I think yeah. it's the main ingredient to be happy in life. Mm. So tell me more about your school environment, your friends. Do you suffer or did you suffer any kind of bullying? Um, bullying, no. Um, my friends, some of my close friends are very supportive. Mm -hmm. um, they understand, well they, it's not that they, they understand, but they sometimes feel like um, they should be involved because, you know, I'm a friend. So um, they understand sometimes what I go through and they support me along the way. Um, yeah, so uh, with do you mean teachers too, like, or well, just... Well, in general, in general, because sometimes what happens when you are yeah. successful, when you are doing different things mm. than others, sometimes kids take advantage of that and try to bully or trying to say something, you know? Well, it doesn't really get to me because I know that I have been more successful than them and they might think, oh, you know, we can bully her, but um, I know that I have achieved a lot more than they have ever dreamed of. Some of them, you know, the most they've ever done was get an A plus on a math test or something like that. But I've done a lot more than that. Um, and it's more jealousy than bullying. Mm -hmm. Some kids just, you know, they are jealous because I miss so much school or, you know, I get, you know, some extensions on some things. But sometimes it's not. It's not as easy as it looks. Like just because I miss school, it means I have to catch up after school. I have to do my homework at lunch and recess, so it might be jealousy, but it doesn't really get to me. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's how you cope with things. Yeah. Because sometimes we don't have control or about what others can think or not think about us. Yeah. You know, so that you're doing great. <laughs> so <laughs> would you like to give a specific message to the teenagers that probably they are watching us right now? Um, about? In general, any message that you would like to say? Well, a message is definitely about parents. Um, you should be open to them and the parents, you should, it's not only that they should try make a communication with you, but you should try to communicate with them too so they can see that you actually want to talk to them and for them to tell you and to guide you along your way. Like to reach your goal, your parents can help you. You can get a lot further with your parents' help than, than just by yourself. So. Can I ask you something? Are you 14 or are you 20? I'm 14. Because you are talking like 20. <laughs> a great personality. Congratulations. So Thank your you. parents are doing a great job. Mm, yes. Well done. My parents are very helpful with my sport. Tell me, what's your goal for the future? 
My goal is definitely the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. That's a long-term goal for me, but little goals like Commonwealth in two years or like I'm soon going to go to Japan in September and that's my little goal for now to do really well there and make everyone happy. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your uh, page, Facebook page? Um, it's Alexandra Kiroi. It's an official page. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, Facebook. they can watch you on YouTube, I think? On YouTube, just search up Alexandra Kiroi and I'll be there. Uh -huh. Alexandra Kiroi. Would you like to add something before we finish, Alexandra? Um, it's not only about sport, like just because I have time management or I listen to my like parents, it's not just because I do sport. I actually want my parents to help me and guide me along my life. So without parents, you can't be anyone. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. I like what you say and also be grateful. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alexandra, also I would like to say thank you very much to Vergara Collection for this fantastic journey. Thank you once again, Gabi Company, Melbourne, Australia. See you next time. All the best. Bye, Gabi Company and Alexandra here. Bye. Bye. Thank you.